Um, nothing happened to Echo. I just sent him off to go fight. He's not. We don't know. Like everybody's all like, "Who's dead?" But we don't know that yet. We have to clear those rocks behind us. Is that you saying that I have like an objective in this fight, or are you saying something else? Ugh, God, I hate when the game does that. Okay, well. The rocks behind us are killable. Okay, so that's what I actually have to do. Okay, well then, let's do this. Ready. <laughs> Clear those rocks now. Yeah, okay. Eh, eh, eh. Just slapping away at the rocks. Ow. God, a prick. Yeah, okay. If we don't clear the ice, the caravan can't get through. I understand. I hear you, dude. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll see if I can cull the weak on these rocks. Nice. Artery strike, which is weird because they don't have arteries, but all right. Well, I had to move out of there somehow. God. Yeah, summon more. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's an interesting fight because you don't, you kind of can't like. So they have 12 strength, which means I should be able to cull them. Should, shouldn't I? Oh no, they have 15, 20. Okay, well, then I'll just, oh, they have 15, but I have to, okay. I have to attack them. I can't, yeah, cull the weak won't kill them. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> I thought I would have hit two of the. I guess it doesn't work like that. Uh. Yeah, calling the weak wouldn't kill it. it had, they have too much strength. Snow is very strong. Hmm. Okay, well, I there's nowhere for me to go, so I have to like I can't fit, so we're gonna go ahead and Tempest. Kill that egg and can I, oh god, and they're getting stronger too. Jesus. <laughs> Interesting mission. Why am I digging in the snow? Uh, cause that's what the game told me to do. Also cause it's blocking our path ahead. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, there's still... Oh, is that the last? No, that's not the last one, but I'm getting there. I'll send somebody down to kill that one. That's cool. Very dramatic shoveling, combat shoveling, if you will. The caravan can get through. Move. Nice. That was cool. It was cool to like see a different kind of fight in this game. I mean, it wasn't really a fight in the way that I like would have normally described it. But that's no, it's good. Little bonus renown. It's nice. Old Ford's not so far. Let's go. You can almost make out the old Ford in the distance, but there's an open land between you and it. Harrison, I'm coming! Oddly, the dredge seem to have fallen away. Some ravens begin slowing, tripping over their own feet. Krumer, the old Varl war leader, speaks up. This reminds me of the ambush I sprung on Talon, the craziest chieftain of men I ever fought. These fighters were all strung out and tired like us. One small trick would have ruined our ambush. Lucky for us, they never figured it out. What are you getting at? I don't remember the details. Let me take some fighters and handle this situation. There's no situation. Then keep your men. They'd only get in my way. The old Varl takes off on his own. God damn it! He's run off and come back too, so we'll see. I guess Bulwark was friends with Dangler after all, a raven fighter says, just before a rock craters the side of his face. All around you, Dredge bursts out of snowdrifts, their faces contorted in rage. God damn it, Krumer, I needed you for this fight. Motherfuck. Uh, all right, good, Goodmunder, I guess. Like. The human I could live without, right? Echo could could go. Gunolf would never have pulled that shit with me. Christ. This is not gonna be easy. off my wizard. Come on. Oh, what a waste. That sucks. And this guy's gonna get that willpower bonus. Fuck. I'm feeling really frustrated by them taking away one of my best fighters, like right before a big fight. I'm a little pissed off about that, to be honest. I guess I can cull this dude, let's cull him. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't enough. Because of his armor, shit. Ah, oh, my God, this fight's gonna be so hard. <laughs> I mean, again, I, I think the thing is that you, you know, you don't, you can't know the outcome of anything. You can't even guess it. Like half the time when you, when you pick an outcome, 
when you're like, oh, I think this is what I need to do. Um, it doesn't make any, ra it's not like rationally connected to the results at all, which is frustrating sometimes. Um, so you just, but it also like frees you up once you realize that you just kind of have to be like, well, fuck it. Like th there's nothing that I can do. So I'm just gonna do whatever feels like the right thing in any given second. So it's a bit of a piss off, but like, what are you gonna do about it? You know? Well, for Krumer, there was precedent of him running off, but I couldn't prevent it. Right? You can't like, no matter what, I, like I told him, I was like, dude, there's no, there's no situation. So like he ran off and I, great. Like, uh, okay. Who can I kill? I guess I'll have to get up and kill this guy. Yeah. I don't think you ever get to tell him what to do. That's fine. Rah! Thank you for pushing me away from those exploding crystals. Uh, okay. Yeah, the logic in this is like less moon, less moon logic than the last one. There's still a little bit of that though. We're not entirely free of that stuff. Yeah, take some damage, fool. It sucks that my first hit got deflected. That's irritating. So well armored in this fight. Um, and my dudes are really weak. Try and stay away from the big, the big defendy guy up top until I can deal with him. Um, okay, I should be able to get another turn out of this dude. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're starting to turn this thing around. Yeah, I think the thing that made it feel like the Krumer thing feel a little tricky for me was because the game is like, you're not supposed to like stop for bullshit right now. And so I tried to convince him like, no, stop fucking around, you crazy old idiot. Whatever, if I lose him, I lose him. That's just how the game is. 
Banner Saga gonna Banner Sog. Sorry, dude, but this is, this is how it is. I don't have time. Okay, they're both down to one, so we'll be okay. Right, Bulver crits is some filthy shit. I agree. <laughs> also, this guy seems to have filled the battlefield with, like, pointless grenades. I'm gonna kill you. You're dead now. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You were standing there. It's your own fault. I just had to win the fight, so too bad for you. Gods, of all places to make a final stand. I bring us to the old fort. A human prince that should have crumpled a hundred years ago. So angry. We need water. It's right there. There's water right there. And sleep. And sleep near. There's no deus for the machina. These people will help us. Don't attack them. I mean... I thought that was a river, not the ocean. Oh yeah, there's an ocean in the background. It's a, it's a ford. A fjord we're fording. Shield wall, you say, or think you say. Fatigue hinders your every thought. No one forms up as a large group of humans approach from the buildings in the old ford. A small, stout man leads them. Mercenaries, huh? You don't look worth the damn, let alone coin. You reach for your axes, but a few spearmen make it clear you shouldn't. Easy. The last thing we need is to spill each other's wall uh, blood before the, uh, the dark wall of dredge over there get their chance, eh? Dredge. The word echoes in your head. They don't know what they're doing. The man makes a face, and even Fulka lifts her head enough to squint at you. Well, we're charged with keeping this route open for the clans that went to Arborang. So, as long as we're going to be killing as many of those as we can. Threats and commands come to mind, but never make it out of your mouth. The march, the fighting, the lack of sleep will catch up with you, but you fall to a knee. You try to catch yourself, but gracelessly, your head hits the snow. Time for dreams? Darkness. Purple lightning and a dark sun. What in the depths is this? Two snakes. Two snakes facing each other. Sensing you're being watched, you leap to your feet and reach for Claw and Fang, but they're missing. You roar in anger. The short man by the entrance takes a step back. Easy, Bulwark. No one's trying to harm you. You get to your feet, head pounding. Where are the ravens? Ah, I woke you first, he says, but the others need to get up too. I let you sleep as long as I dare, but you're almost out of time. He motions to a side table and you find your axes undamaged. Who are you and what do you want? You ask. My name's Hader. That won't matter in a few hours. We came from Akkor. We're the rear guard of the clan's army that went to challenge the king in Arborang. With axes in hand, you ask, Then what do you want from me? Well, I'm no battle leader, Hado says. I'm just a skirmisher like the rest here. I'm proud of myself for not running off already. Plain and simple, you know how to fight, so tell us what to do and we'll do it. We've got fighters who could use some tips or encouragement. Maybe we could build some stake walls with parts of buildings. It's up to you, but we don't have time to do much and no one's expecting miracles. Regardless of how it plays out, I'm glad you stumbled in here when you did. Stepping out into the cold air refreshes you. You look around and are surprised to see stragglers crossing the bridge. You grab a handful of snow and squeeze it in your fists until a trickle of water falls to the ground. A silent tribute. Pour one out for your ravens who didn't make it. Okay, uh... Everybody's all fucked up, right? Or are we rested? Is that what that cutscene was for? Okay, good. It was a resting cutscene. God damn it, I need my friends back is what I fucking need. God damn it. Alright, Fulka. Level your ass up. I need Krumer to come back. Friggin' Krumer. Nope, 
Yep, blip, blip. I don't need your bio. I just need to confirm. Thank you. There we go. Heroes, houses, volunteers, market. Market would be like for special items. Mender's fib. Armor, talent ranks, talent ranks, talent ranks. Armor, talent ranks, and armor. Another obsidian ring. Uh, okay. I'm not going to take any of these. Um, let's go to the houses. Walking in the building, a few ravens introduce you to a carpenter from the town. Easy enough to bring a few of these homes and barns down, he says, pointing with a hammer. If you and your ravens help me build a cart of the materials, I'll make it so any force coming across the bridge will pay dearly. We don't have any archers to take advantage of that. Not to worry. We've got a few. They're not the best shots in the world, but they can help. What do you say? I'll spend my time doing something else. The fighters, men and women from Akar and a few other northern towns, watch as you approach. Show me your shield wall, you bark. Only a few of them move and raise their shields, so you charge them, sending terrified humans running or skidding across the ground. Scared or fey and undisciplined. Either way, you'll be dead in the first assault. Shield wall. This time, everyone runs to lock shields and brace with their shoulders. You still break through, but it's a better effort. Vulcan and a few of the other ravens join you to correct stances and swings, but it's the arrival of clansmen from Bindle that surprises you. You never had to get us this far, but you did, the man says. Time for us to pitch in. Hopefully we don't muck everything up. Ha! Hu! Haya! Ha! Hu! Haya! You show the new volunteers how to reinforce a shield wall. After an hour, you tell everyone to rest and get ready for the real fighting. In private, Fulka asks, think it'll make a difference? They're making a stand, so it already has. Sometimes you impress me. Just when I think you hate everything, you say something that shows you haven't given up on the rest of us. You grunt and walk away. Eh. The shield maiden tightened straps on her armors while glaring at you with red rimmed eyes. If you've got something to say, say it. We'll be dead before long. We don't have to be. We could leave right now. Whoever's after us would roll through here without slowing. We'd be caught in the open. Then we can leave the damn card here. Let the dredge have it. I gave an oath to... An oath isn't worth our fan lives. Duh, that's exactly what an oath is worth. In the following silence, you see Folka's eyes brim with tears. I don't want to die. Not yet, and I don't want you to die either. Talk like this is forbidden in the company, but you turn your head, giving her a moment to collect yourself. What would you do if the person you'd followed for years was no longer the same? I'm trying to figure out what happened to me. You said yourself would be dead soon. What did you come up with? There's a voice in my head growing louder. I've been fighting to keep it quiet. Bellower's voice, probably. But Bellower is dead. His, his body... He's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. Fulka nods. The conclusion doesn't seem too far-fetched for her. These dreams are things he's seen. The Valka did something to betray him. They were working with the Sunder? Nah, I think so. But this has more to do with Ivan than Juno. They did something. Something bad. Well, I don't even think Zephyr knows what they did. The two of you look over at Zephyr. The Valka stares into a fire, lost in thought. So what does all this mean? I don't know. I figured as much. Still, it feels better knowing I'm not the only one in the dark. You look up at the sharp contrast between the constant sunshine and the black wall. Huh, I guess we'll all be in the dark soon enough. A scout's horn signals all fighters to the bridge! If we make it through this, someone in Manahar is going to answer to me. Pray to me. Where are the drugs? Where are the dredge? The immensity of the dredge force standing beyond the bridge is both terrifying and wondrous. Their droning sounds shake the ground. You wonder if the old ford can withstand it. Fear is strong in the air. You faintly hear some humans running away, but your ravens stand firm against impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment of pride for that. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begins to move. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's that Lord of the Rings. Or it's... The, it's... Fuck, it's uh, beyond the wall. It's the wildlings. It's, 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 oh, God! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, well? Let's do it! 